on this week's Dance Hall Road Trip, we're coming to you from Quero, home of the Gobblers, Ruby Begonia, the world's fastest turkey, and sometimes known as the turkey capital of the world. But tonight, we're going to be just west of town in the small community of Lindenau. They've got a fun little dance hall, and Gary P. Nunn's going to be holding it down. So let's go get our dance ticket and check it out. We've been board members for about 15 years okay. as treasurer, president, different positions, so this is where we are now. Uh, when we moved here, we were invited to join. We joined okay. in 1998. What's going on here tonight? What do we have? We have Gary P. Nunn putting on a show for us, and it's our first experience with him, and so we'll enjoy it. He's about to retire, and he's trying to play as many of the old Texas dance halls as he can. So on a normal basis, how, what does this hall function as? Functions as an event center, community event center. We rent it for weddings, for birthday parties, for different kinds of receptions. Anybody that wants to rent it can rent it. Costs $500 for the day of the event. And if they want it a few days ahead of time to decorate, we only charge them $50 a day to pay electricity and that sort of thing. German immigrants settled in this community in the mid-1800s. We're both basically farmers, some of them cattle, but they raised a lot of cotton and they had, uh, there was a cotton gin and a railroad depot and, and general stores, post office and so forth uh, here before. But they needed a social club, so they formed the Linden Now Rifle Club in 1901. This hall, the central part of it, was built in 1927 and they've added on the wings for the outside the dance floor, the bar, and the kitchen. And I guess uh, rifle club, so uh, old German Schützenverein, but not anymore, right? Not anymore, no. I've had calls, phone calls, <laughs> wanting to know if we do shooting, and no, we don't do any shooting. And I do not know when they stopped holding shooting events, but they used to have festivals, meals, uh, dances, all those things, okay. uh, and shooting contests. Our big fundraisers are a spring chicken barbecue, which we have the third Sunday of March. And we usually uh, make about five, six thousand dollars out of that. And then we have the fall sausage feast in the third Sunday in September. And we have a Linden House stew the first weekend in November. And those are the three fundraisers we have. So what's the hardest part about keeping a dance hall like this going? It takes a lot of volunteer effort. The hardest part is getting members that are willing to work and put in. That, that's really the hardest part. And we're lucky right now we have a pretty good group. We have about 50 members, and I would say that a very large percentage of them, probably 95%, put in the time. They're actively working, They're actively which is working, where we work. Which is what we want. It's the, the floors, it looks like y'all just got those redone. We recently. just had them redone. Yeah, you're yeah. the first ones to use them. <laughs> All right. Tonight's going to be the first dance. So <laughs> scoot right across them tonight. Linda now. Well, we've uh, had this on our bucket list for quite some time. I've got a list of all the great halls I wanted to play. And actually, I did play here many, many years ago. But I just love uh, doing these old uh, German dance halls, and especially the ones that are community centers. They're carrying on a tradition of early Texas history, uh, Texas culture, the, you know, the lifestyle of the people who live in this area. They were lively uh, centers of community activity, family activity, and so to me it's, uh, it's just a thrill to be able to continue that tradition, see these old buildings live and continue to be with us because so many have disappeared over there. We need to remember those, those, and not let them get away from us. Do you have some more dance halls in the in the future here before you? Well, I do. Uh, 
You know, as time goes by, one by one, you know, I, I click them off because some of them are more prominent than others. Uh, the Green Hall and uh, Broken Spoke and Luke and Bach have been, they've been consistent. You know, I've done them on a regular basis over the years. The crowds have always just been great. And of course they dance and that's the reason we come. But I'm not gonna wait, make you wait any longer. Last week, at this time, Gary P. Nunn is getting off the stage for the grand old office. Without further ado, please connect me to the world of the Ambassador to Texas Country Music, Mr. Gary P. Nunn! The Brown Texan! We got a big, beautiful dance floor out here, and I hope you Another great thing about these old halls is the kids are welcome. It, you know, it, it's uh, it's all the way from grandkids to grandma and grandpa out there on the dance floor, and it's, and it's truly a family situation. It always has been, and that's one of the things I like about it. The kids, they get sleepy, they just make a pallet under the table and go to sleep on the floor. <laughs> They're so culturally alive and vivid in my mind, and uh, you know, so uh, so important for us to to uh, to preserve this this uh, style of life lifestyle. It's really a pleasure and an honor to be here. And, to play every old German dance hall, Czech hall, and Texas before. Ladies and gentlemen, the ambassador of Texas music, Gary B. Nunn! That's the dance hall road trip from Lindenau Hall, Gary P. Nunn. Hope you enjoy it. Lucky show up here sometime soon, they got something going on, and uh, we'll see you at the next dance off.